First, we'll navigate the version 5 site to demo what it looks like. This site has a shop and a contact form. To migrate your site, click the Migrate to version 6 button. You will be able to preview what your site will look like when it's migrated. There are things to be aware of before you migrate. Blogs, forms and membership are not supported. Some things like menus, fonts and link buttons will look different. You may want to take a copy of your version 5 site as a reference. It's also worth taking note of custom colours you use on your site. Read through the list of unsupported elements before you migrate. As we release new features on V6, we'll enable them for migration. So you may want to wait. We'll now preview what this site will look like when it's migrated. The first thing you'll notice is that the menu is different and some of the text is misaligned. Let's navigate through some of the pages. The shop and its products have been migrated. There is some tidying up to do around the category menu and buttons. The contact page has been migrated, but the form has not. This would be the same if the site has a blog page. As well as seeing an edit mode preview, you can also see what your site would look like as a visitor. If you are happy and think that you can edit your site, you can go ahead and migrate. Once you've migrated, there's no turning back, so be sure. We can now edit the site. The first thing we'll fix is the menu by going to the Page Master. You'll notice the V6 user interface is slightly different to V5. It's quite easy to delete the old menu and apply a new one. We'll choose one that's the closest to the one on the V5 site and edit it. We'll change the spacing the font size and colours. This site uses custom colours, so we'll apply them. Once the menu has been changed, we'll go to the home page and sort out the spaces in the text. On the shop page, the first thing to change is the title as the word shop is overlapping. In this case, it is easier to add the word shop and delete the misaligned text box. We also need to apply the custom colour. The shop categories have been changed to a default menu. The menu looks OK, so we can just change the colours of the buttons.
On the product detail page, we'll change the title again. We also need to change the color of the link buttons. The same goes for the shopping cart page. and the sale confirmation page. The contact page had a form. In this case, to replace it, we've created a form in Wufu and add it to the site using a snippet. A Wufu widget is available in the V6 library too. We can view the site to check it is working. Finally, we can view the site to check all of the pages. So, that was a quick run through on migrating your V5 site. So, let's see what it looks like on a tablet. First, we'll take a look at the V5 site. As you can see, the styling is different. And now, let's take a look at the V6 site. You'll see that the styling looks the same as on the desktop site. You get the full features and functionality. It's fast and the experience is the same as on a desktop computer.